and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today we're doing a grocery haul. Okay, you get those ones. <gasps> the Family Fudge, the Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. We're going, we're going to Costco. Costco. What are the rules, you guys? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, no being weird, no falling over. So this trip to Costco is a little bit different. We don't need a lot of regular groceries, but I do have quite the list of things for our special subscriber lunches. Now you guys know I love to make bunches of lunches every Saturday, where I actually pick the lunches for the kids. But on Sunday, I make subscriber lunches, so I definitely need some special ingredients for those lunches. Now with the subscriber lunches, I actually make those on the weekend, and I only make one of each lunch. That way the kids can just try it, see if they like it or not, but I'm not making like a ton of lunches over the weekend. We've been getting lunch ideas from all over the world, and if you'd like to submit your lunch idea, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. Hey guys, time to check our list. I see the chips. Jackson, can you get the big box of chips? This one, the big one. This one. Yep, put it in. Good job. Okay guys, we definitely need to get some bread. Let's go with this kind. Who's gonna grab it? Hurry, put it in, hurry. Good job. How about these? Ooh, coconut rolls? Okay. Yay. Lily, can you get that cereal? Yeah, we want her Do you like that kind? Yeah. Okay, put it in. Put it in, quick, quick. You did it. Yeah. Okay, you get those ones. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. You're not supposed to throw them. Oh no. Oh, it's okay, it didn't open. Okay guys, now I can finally show you everything that we picked up today from Costco and from Walmart. And about 99% of these items are just for the subscriber lunch videos for the next two weeks. So watch closely. You might even see items that you suggested for a lunch. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Costco first and then I'll show you Walmart. And from Costco, we did get quite a few non-food items, so I'll go ahead and show you those. And speaking of subscriber lunches, I definitely needed to pick up two new huge binders for all of the requests that you guys are sending me. I love your requests, keep them coming, and I'm gonna try to make as many of them as I can but I definitely needed some new binders to hold all of the emails you guys are sending me. Take a look at this, you guys. This binder is absolutely full of your emails, and then this one is almost full, so that is a lot of lunch suggestions, and I really hope to make all of them as soon as I can. While we were at Costco, I also let the three oldest kids each pick out a book, and they got some really good ones, so I'll go ahead and show you those to you. So Mr. Jackson, who is my little engineer, he picked out this Maker Lab, which is full of lots of different STEM projects for him to work on. And it actually comes with the instructions and some of the materials that he's going to need. So there's lots of different math, math projects, science projects, and it tells him exactly how to do each project. And all of these are kid friendly and, and safe. Well, I think, hopefully they're safe. I think they're safe. He's definitely gonna have a lot of fun with that. Mackenzie picked out this one, the biggest book of the human body. She loves books like this. They're just full of information and she just absorbs it all. So I have no problem buying her books like this because I love to encourage her to learn. And then Miss Lily picked out this one. This is a Paw Patrol sticker book treasury. So not quite as educational as the other two, but that's okay. It's just full of lots of Paw Patrol fun. Are you excited for this one? Yeah! And then also from Costco, we got this pull-out cabinet organizer. This was $19.99, I think. And if you don't already know, right now we're going through a kitchen remodel. So 
I'm hoping to put this under the sink to keep everything organized. Now moving on to the actual food items. Over here I have sort of the meat and the dairy sort of items. Starting with way back here, I got some of this turkey deli meat for sandwiches this week. I also got another big pack of the five cheese tortelloni. We love this stuff, it's definitely a staple. And this big thing with two packages is only about $9.99. Underneath that, I got a big thing of five dozen eggs. This should last quite a long time. I'll probably hard boil quite a few of them, keep them in the fridge for quick, healthy snacks. And it was definitely cheaper to buy the five dozen than just the 18 count. It was about a dollar less per dozen that way. We also picked up two packages of beef jerky. My husband and I like this one. It's kind of spicy. And then the kids like this one. Surprisingly, Lily, this is like her favorite snack right now. Back over here, I got this package of breakfast sausage. This is a really good quality chicken sausage. It's already fully cooked. So it's very quick and easy for mornings where I don't have a lot of time. Back over here, I got this big box of pretzel dogs. These are so good. I definitely could make these myself, but sometimes I'm looking for something really quick and easy. So yeah, these are really good. I also picked up some feta cheese. This is for a special subscriber lunch. We got a big jar of the basil pesto to go with our noodles. Back over here, I picked up cucumbers. I pretty much go through three cucumbers every week. We love cucumbers. I got a thing of blueberries. Those were a pretty good price, not too, not too bad. The strawberries, however, they were really expensive, so I passed on those this time. I did get a big bag of bananas, some of these Mickey Mouse apples. These are actually really good, and I love that they're really small. The kids love to snack on those. Mr. Griffin, however, he loves to snack on these. Baby Bill cheeses. I think we only have a few left from two weeks ago. He went through the entire package almost by himself. Back under here, I got my traditional almond milk. I love this stuff. It goes in everything in place of milk. For me, I pretty much only drink this. Next to that, I got two boxes this time of the Jimmy Dean Delights. I'm totally hooked on these again. They're so quick and easy. They're a little bit lighter on the calories, lots of protein in there. And next time you go to Costco, these probably won't be on sale anymore. So I got two boxes to keep in the freezer. Above that, I got a new pizza kit. I love these from Costco. It comes with four pizza crusts and the sauce. All you have to do is throw on the cheese. We have a ton of cheese in the freezer so the kids can make their own pizzas. Then also from Costco, we got lots of new snacks to try. I'm working on another kids' choice lunch video. So we let each of the kids pick out something new to try. Mackenzie picked out these for a very special treat. These are pineapple rings and they're dipped in chocolate. So like dried pineapple and chocolate. Sounds interesting, it might be good, might not be. So we're gonna give those a try. For Jackson's special treat, he picked out these coconut rolls. They don't actually have coconut inside, which I wish they did, that sounds really good. But these are just coconut flavored and they're very crunchy. And then Miss Lily picked out these mango pops. It says that they're sweet and tangy. There's apricot, mango, chia seeds, and granola in there. So I hope that she likes these because this bag was like eight or nine dollars. Also from Costco, I picked up the triple pack of pasta sauce. This is going into a special subscriber lunch of spaghetti and meatballs. So if you suggested spaghetti and meatballs, it's probably your lunch. This was on sale right now for only $5.99 for three bottles. And since it's organic, that's a pretty good price. Now over here, I have a few Costco items hiding out. I got this big box of protein shakes. I like these because they're convenient for on the go. So hopefully I can take those with me. And I also got this huge box of chips. These are definitely gonna go into a lot of special subscriber lunches. So many of you love these in your lunch, and so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them in your lunch. And then, of course, there's the muffins. We got a double pack of the chocolate this time. I like to keep these in the freezer. They defrost beautifully. We love these. And then last but not least from Costco, we also got a big box of honey bunches of oats. This is definitely something that we don't get all the time, but definitely the kids think it's a fun treat. Uh-oh, I forgot one item from Costco. That's the sandwich bread. I don't normally buy sandwich bread at Costco, but this actually looks pretty good. It's a nice big square loaf, so I can use it with my um, sandwich cutters and it'll work out really well. These, this double pack was only like $3.99, so it's a pretty good price. So I'll probably use one this week for lunches and the next, the other one I'll put in the freezer for next week. 
And now I can move on to the many, many items from Walmart. Now, a lot of these items are snack items, definitely going into lunches, starting with some birthday cake Oreos. Oreos get suggested for lunches all the time. They're such a popular treat all over the world. I also got some of these juice pouches. <laughs> they're not boxes, they're pouches. And this is the 100% juice in the apple flavor. And I got these one because they're Paw Patrol themed. So yes, there's a Paw Patrol lunch coming. And speaking of Paw Patrol, I also got the Paw Patrol breakfast nuggets. Now, to be honest with you, I thought that these were chicken nuggets. And they are, but they are actually maple flavored breakfast nuggets. So I don't know. I didn't mean to get those. Hopefully the kids will like them. We shall see. I also picked up this Paw Patrol cupcake kit. That looks so fun. It comes with the sprinkles and the cupcake liners and the picks. Then keeping with that Paw Patrol theme, I also got the string cheese and these little packs of cookies. These are so cute. You can definitely save some money and get the big box instead of the individual bags. But since we're making so many lunches, I really like the individual bags because they just, I don't have to open the big bag and they go bad. I like the small bags. They stay fresh for a long time. And that's not it, you guys. Even more items for our special subscriber lunches, starting with these guys. I like these little packs of cookies as well because there's only two in each little pack. So it's just a little treat, not too bad for a lunch. This box has 30, and there's golden Oreos, regular Oreos, and Chips Ahoy. And then this guy, of course, is definitely for a special subscriber lunch. It was actually really hard to find one of these after the holidays because I think these are mostly a Christmas food. This is an Italian panettone. Panettone? Yes, I think so. But I went ahead and got the chocolate chip one because I thought my kids would like that better than, I think normally they put raisins in it. So yeah, that'll be fun in a special lunch. I also got some goldfish crackers. I really like the rainbow colored. And again, I got the small serving size bag because they'll stay fresher longer. So I'll only need three at a time. And I have to say a ton of you requested goldfish crackers for your special lunches. So yeah, goldfishes are really popular. Also for subscriber lunches, I picked up a box of the Teddy Soft Bakes. So it's basically like a big soft cake that's shaped like a bear with vanilla filling. I also got this package of deli rolls. One of the lunches that I'm making requested a sub sandwich and I don't normally make sub sandwiches for some reason. So that'll be new for the kids to try. I got some grapes, but I have to show you these grapes because they're huge. They're like ginormous, almost the size of two grapes put together. Hiding back over here, I got some green onions, which actually aren't for a subscriber lunch. These are gonna go on top of my uh, chili that I'm gonna make. So yeah, those are totally for me. I also got some mini bagels, some mini marshmallows. Now these are supposed to go into some Mississippi mud brownie bars, I think. That was requested in one of the lunches, and I've never actually made Mississippi brownies, so I'll definitely need to find a recipe for that, but I know it needs marshmallows. So I picked those up, and then I got lots of boxes of things. First up, I got some peach flavored applesauce. Miss Lily loves these, and Griffin does too. I also got some of these granola bars, and these ones are a little bit healthier, but they still taste really good. There's coconut and cashew and nut butter in there. It's really good. I also got these to try. These are definitely going into a special nut-free lunch. So many of you requested nut-free lunches, so I'm hoping to do a lot of those if I can. And then I also got these. We tried the vanilla flavor last time, so I'm thinking that the kids will love the strawberry ones. It's basically a little cookie with yogurt and you can dip them in there. Really fun for lunches. For the vegetables this week, we got sugar snap peas, I've got carrots, I've got broccoli slaw. I still have a lot of broccoli and Brussels sprouts in the fridge from last time, so I just picked up these this week. Then I also got some of this uncured ham. This is gonna go in a grilled, it's almost like a grilled cheese sandwich, but instead of cheese, it's just ham. That's definitely going into a special subscriber lunch. I also got some uncured salami and some of these. This is something that my husband and I love to share. It's like a good low carb snack. It's basically a mozzarella cheese stick with pepperoni wrapped around it, yeah. 
these are really good. I got some dill relish, and then something the kids have never tried. This is definitely going into a special lunch. These are young sweet peas. So yeah, a different vegetable that we haven't tried before. Back over here, I got a big pack of the Activia yogurt in the vanilla flavor. That's my kids' favorite. I got one little tiny orange juice, some ranch. Now when I don't make my own ranch, this is my next choice. This is made of Greek yogurt, so it's not so bad for you. I also picked up two packages of the turkey pepperoni. Now I know I've said this before, but I really like the turkey pepperoni because it's not as greasy. And then last but not least, I picked up three new yogurts to try. These are the cookies and cream flavor, so hopefully they'll be good. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit that web subscribe button. See you next time, bye.